Welcome back everybody, this is Eric here at Moss Pond and Gun, and uh, we're continuing our 2015 SHOT Show coverage for you guys. We've been running around like madmen getting footage for you guys. We stopped here by the AR-500 Armor booth. Um, you guys probably have seen a lot of the videos because we've gotten a lot of comments um, about the type of uh, body armor testing we've been doing and a lot of you guys have been asking questions about it. So we want to come by the booth here not only to show off some of the new products that AR-500 Armor um, you know, has coming out this year, but also, you know, just to, to show kind of what they have going on. You know, we've shot a lot of the stuff and um, it, it holds together really nicely. Uh, they are going to be introducing some soft armor this year, which is awesome. It's going to be a level 3A soft armor uh, rated up to 44 Magnum, uh, respectively. You know, soft armor, obviously, it's gonna, not going to take as many rounds as a you know, full AR-500 plate, but you're getting uh, the added uh, benefit of reduced weight. And that kind of leads me to talk about this carrier here. This is your new ultra lightweight carrier, ultra low profile carrier. It's just got the three mag pouches on the front. This will take a, uh, up to a, a 10 inch plate, I believe 10 by eight plate. So, you know, they're smallest size plate. All right, you drop that in. So this is really designed for concealable soft armor or let's say you're getting in and out of vehicles, you don't really want to have a whole lot of bulk on you. Or say you're a smaller frame person, you really can't strap on a big set of armor and, ha and handle all that extra weight. This allows you to keep it light, but we're still protecting your vital organs in a way that, you know, you still have your mobility about you. Or if you have limited strength, it's not somebody, you know, you're not being bogged down by a bunch of heavy armor with this system. They've got these modified, or this uh, special type of generation two Cobra buckles. They're made out of polymer to cut down on weight. They're still very strong. So what we might end up doing is getting one of these down to do some testing with it. And of course, you know us, we're gonna shoot the crap out of it. But uh, let's go around. We're gonna check out some of the other offerings. They've also got this awesome carrier over here we're gonna go have a look at. All right, guys, so moving along, we're looking here at uh, one of their new carriers. This is their EPC carrier. That stands for Emergency Personal Carrier. And what this, little rig right here is designed to do. It's designed to take any plate from their inventory, be it a small plate, large plate, whatever they have, soft armor, hard armor, you throw it in this carrier, you keep it, you know, around the back of your chair or, you know, the vehicle that you're in, if you want to keep it behind the seat of your vehicle. It's just a great everyday carry armor. And the nice thing about it, it's very inconspicuous. So let's say that, um, you're in a situation where you don't want people to know you have armor. It could be, you know, this almost looks like something that would be on your boat, like a life jacket or something like that. The nice thing about them too is they retail for like 50 bucks. So this is a great inexpensive option if you're putting a lot of your money towards the better armor that you can afford and then trying to skimp a little bit on the carrier, you can get the cheaper carrier and that'll allow you to put a little bit more money towards the better armor if you want or something like that. Let's say that somebody's really slim, you know, they, they're not, they, they don't really have like a heavy build and you know, they need just a small basic carrier that they can just hold a plate and maybe stuff it under their clothes. This also provides a pretty good level of concealment considering you got this padding back here, it goes around the neck. It does have the Cobra buckles right here. You can get them that way, which is kind of nice. Easy to put on, quick to put on. So with it being an emergency carrier, that's kind of the whole point, to be able to grab and go, get it on quick, get on out the door and do whatever you need to do. So I saw that, I was pretty impressed with it. I thought I would show that to you guys. For some of you guys that are wanting maybe a little bit more cost-effective option, you want to put maybe more of your money towards the nicer armor you can get and then you know skimp on the uh, carrier for now cool thing about this, it's a great extra carrier. So let's say you end up getting one of their nicer carriers down the road. You can stuff this in the closet. Maybe you have an extra uh, armor plate, throw it in there. Then you got an extra set of armor you can hand off to somebody in an emergency or something like that. Uh, we're going to show you one of their uh, newer carriers here. You're going to like this a lot. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so rolling along here, we're going to show you another carrier here. This particular one is kind of a prototype, right? It's got a lot of things going for it. What they wanted to do with this carrier is that a lot of guys that make carriers, you know, they're not body armor people. They don't make body armor. So a lot of traditional carriers, they just don't allow the plate to ride in a way that's comfortable for the operator, the end user. So what they did is with this, they're trying to make it a little bit more adjustable, a little bit more user friendly. Uh, you've got adjustable straps here where you can, you know, change the height of the, the carriers in front and back. So depending on the shape of your body, the amount of gear you're carrying, sometimes a lot of heavy gear in the front can make the armor kind of wear weird. So what that does is allow you to shift that weight on your body to where your center of gravity, your weight, everything like that comes into play and allows you to just wear the armor more comfortably. All right, I've also got this Cobra uh, QD right here. Now this can be changed to either side. Okay, so let's say that 
you shoulder the rifle on your left-handed or right-handed, whichever direction you shoulder the rifle, and you don't want to risk accidentally bumping one of these things loose or something. Or if it's just your preference, you can change this to either side. Uh, that allows the armor to be removed relatively quickly. They've also added a lot of nice padding here in the shoulder area. Some of you guys that wear armor for a living, I mean, some of us are obviously police, military, some of us soldiers, some of us wear this stuff 16 hours a day. So you want armor that's nice and comfortable, okay? So that's one thing they've accomplished here. Now, the rest of the rest of the carrier, relatively straightforward. You have Molly attachments all around, just like their, uh, their other carrier, okay? You've got Velcro running the uh, entire front of the carrier here. Now, this is just kind of mocked up here, but, but the whole idea here is that you can add, you know, Velcro, Kydex holster, stick the bad boy on there, and there it is. You have whatever holster option you want to run with. And then, of course, your magazine uh, pouches and things like that. Now, these are, uh, you know, from another company, but they are going to be developing their own, uh, you know, mag pouches and other accoutrements that go along with this, uh, with this carrier. So I'm really digging it. Um, I'm going to turn this thing around and show you one more thing in the back that I think you're going to find really cool. All right, guys, so moving along to the back side of the carrier, one thing I want to show you that I thought was just really cool is these little molly sticks. So traditionally, you know, molly is kind of a, a basket weave, weave in, weave out. Um, I've seen a lot of people screw up molly attachments, and I've, I've been around the block a time or two, and I've seen some really funny looking stuff. Uh, but traditionally, of course, a molly stick or any type of molly attachment, it just snakes in and out, and it just provides a basket weave pattern, makes it very solid with the molly stick, snap, pull, okay, and the device that's attached to this, bam, it comes out in one unit, keeps it very simple. So you see how that armor can be taken apart really quickly. See how I just snake that, that, uh, those molly attachments together, pop it in place. Let's say you're a combat medic or something and you always wear your medic pack on your back or something like that, or say the guys in your platoon or your squad or your, your, your SWAT team or whatever, everybody wears their, uh, their IFAC, which AR-500 also makes IFACs as well. But say you're wearing your IFAC right there on the back of your, your carrier, if you take these guys and string them together, tie them together, whatever, you just grab both of them, pull, and bam, there's the IFAC. You don't have to worry about trying to fish it off of there or anything like with a traditional Molly system, which, you know, Molly's great. It, it is the industry standard. It's awesome. It's very, very handy. It's very solid once it's installed properly. Uh, but these little, these little sticks here are great. I just want to show those to you. They just snap in place. All right, guys, so before we close the video out, I'll show you their IFAC. Um, guys, IFACs are pretty important. You know, you want to make sure you have some type of immediate medical aid on you at all times. You get hurt. I mean, and guys, it's not about being some, you know, macho guy who's getting in gunfights all the time. You know, a lot of us, we, we hike and we camp and we fish and we go out and do sometimes dangerous things. You might be a, a mountain biker, you know, out on the trails. You fall down, you hurt yourself. You, you impale yourself on some limb or something, you know, yeah, you need some type of immediate care. Um, this is really intended for stab wounds, bullet wounds, things like that, but, but really any kind of puncture wound or anything, but you got a tourniquet, uh, you got a rapid coagulant, basically like a quick clot that's in there, you got a compression bandage, uh, some galls, other things like that. So it's, it's really just intended to provide an initial um, first aid if you're hurt, anything like that. So really everybody should have some type of immediate first aid on their person. Um, you know, especially if you're in an outdoor environment. I mean, like on my boat when I'm out fishing and stuff, I always keep, you know, good medical uh, equipment on the boat, making sure, you know, that's adhered to properly. I always keep a full medikit in my car. And, you know, guys also think about like, sometimes it might not be you, you, you know, it could be someone else that gets hurt. All right. So if you're able to intervene and help someone that's in need, you gotta, you gotta be prepared for not only yourself, but for situations you're gonna run into where other people need aid as well. So that's the whole idea of an IFAC, is so that you're prepared and you make sure the people around you are safe. Pretty cool there, but that's a product that AR-500 actually makes, so a lot of people don't know that, but that's a little IFAC there. But um, we appreciate all the support we've gotten, guys. This has been a really, really great SHOT Show. We've got to meet a lot of interesting people. I know I say that a lot, but you know, I think a lot of folks don't realize just how big SHOT Show is. It is so humongous and there's so much to look at and so many people that you're coming across. Sometimes it's really hard to appreciate the, the scale of, of SHOT Show. You know, we're out here filming, kind of doing our thing. You guys are at home, you know, watching the footage. It's hard to, uh, to really see exactly what's going on. But uh, guys, we do appreciate the support. Uh, thanks for watching and we have much more on the way, more body armor tests. Um, I do want to thank AR500 because they've just been a great bunch of guys. They send us all the stuff we need to uh, make sure we're keeping those body armor tests out for you. Um, if you guys have some crazy idea 
Now let me know, okay? You come up with something you want to see me do with body armor, send me an email, let me know, comment below, and we'll try to accommodate it. Thanks, guys. Um, stay tuned. we got much more SHOT Show footage on the way. Thanks.